Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at Borderland 4 on Arc GPU. Most of them. I will exclude the A310 4GB VRAM card out of this testing. Playing with the latest driver of Intel that include Borderland 4 and the latest update of Borderland. Still expect some stuttering because it stutter regardless of the GPU you're using. So just keep that in mind. Welcome to Respond PC. I'm Dunk. Let's game on. Quick disclaimer beside the saying I'm not testing the A310 for this uh, game. The system I've used was on i5 12600K, which is a 10 core, physical core, which is higher than the 8 minimum required for this uh, game. So we shouldn't be bottlenecked by the CPU. And 32 gigabyte of RAM of uh, DDR4 3600 MHz. All cards will be tested at 1080p with XCSS enabled to some variant uh, from AA to performance. Starting off with the almost entry level ARC GPU, the A380. This is a 6GB VRAM GPU, which is lower than the recommend, which is 8GB VRAM. But I still tried it because the Intel driver allowed to use system memory to compensate the missing VRAM. And it does just so. Out of the 6GB VRAM, we are using 7.1GB of VRAM. GPU obviously pegged at 99%. CPU wise, we are in the i40s, percentage of its position, and we're using 18.7GB of RAM. And all that to get an average of 29 FPS. We barely pass the 30 FPS. Get as high as 41 FPS, but every time it gets a bit uh, spicy, we drop in the mid 20s. And that is on top of the AV starter. It's heavier than usual. I guess the GPU cannot keep up. And that is at the 1080p, lowest settings and XCSS performance. Maybe if you drop to 720p, you get over your 30 FPS, but I'm not going under 1080p because with the current aggressive XCSS performance, we are already way lower than 720p. A little upgrade, we have the Arc A550. M. This is a mobile GPU from the laptop Nuke X15 from Intel with the i7 12700H and 32GB of RAM. We are still at 1080p, lower settings and XCSS performance. We get the GPU peg at 99% using 5.9GB of VRAM out of 8. This is a 8GB card with the CPU in the mid 70s. We almost have a CPU bottleneck using 18GB of RAM. The starter is similar to any other card. I didn't encounter heavy starter, but since this game is a starter simulator, I find it is uh, quite, uh, quite decent. We get an average of 33 FPS, so it's uh, deemed playable, but remember we are at XCSS performance. Next up uh, we have the A580 8GB VRAM card. This is the card that was uh, proposed as the minimum requirement for Intel on the Borderland minimum requirement, but this time with a better CPU and uh, more RAM. We get the exact same result at 1080p lower settings XCSS AA native resolution, we still get an average of 35 FPS with the GPU peg at 99% using 7GB of VRAM out of 8, CPU in the mid 40s, but this time we're using over 16GB of RAM, which when I tested in the proposed minimum requirement, we only have 16 and using about 12. I've also tested XCSS quality, giving us an average of 42 FPS, quite a bump, with the VRAM and utilization of everything stay quite similar to the native, and if you want to drop to balance, XCSS we get 45 FPS, not a big gain from quality. And I didn't drop that baby to performance XCSS. So it seems the A580 was really the real minimum requirement for Intel side on Borderland if the target is 1080p low settings and over 30 FPS. Now back to the mobile variant, I have the A730M. This is a 12GB VRAM card, paired with the same CPU and the same amount of uh, RAM. I get the exact same amount of FPS, an average of 34 FPS with XCSS AA at 1080p lowest settings. Nothing much to say about uh, this uh, GPU. I get a little bit more performance from the A580. Maybe if it were a game that need more than 8GB of VRAM will have made a difference, but right now, not at all. GPU, CPU and RAM utilization stayed the same, and the kind of starter was the same as all the other card. Intel, MD or Nvidia starter simulator is there for now and probably for stay. Next up, uh, we're back to the desktop variant. We have the A750, 8GB uh, VRAM card. We're playing at the 1080p low settings, XCSS quality that is shown right now, giving us an average of 43 
FPS. Highly playable, GPU peg at 99%, using 7.1 GB of VRAM, CPU in the mid 50s, and using 16.5 to 17 GB of RAM. I barely encounter any starter with that GPU specifically. And if you want a bit more quality, you can play XCSS AA and still be over 30 FPS. We are at 38 FPS with XCSS AA. Next up, I have the A778 GB variant. This is an OC card, so expect a bit more performance with a higher clock. Testing the GPU at 1080p low settings with XCSS AA quality and balance, we get an average of 43 FPS for native resolution, 49 FPS for quality XCSS, and 53 FPS for balance XCSS. With the GPU peg at 99% all the time for every settings, with a usage of 7.2 to 7.3 GB of VRAM out of 8, we take a full advantage of this GPU with those settings. CPU wise, we're still in the mid 40s and we're using just over 16 GB of RAM. And for this game to be a starter simulator, I barely encounter any starter with that GPU and those settings. Barely. That's an encounter here and there, but barely there. Next up, it's again the A770. This one is the LE and it's a 16 GB variant of VRAM, which won't make any difference for this game as we don't even reach 8 GB of VRAM utilization. And this clock is a little bit lower, so I was expecting it to be a bit lower result than the A778 GB variant, but at 1080p low settings, XCSS AA and XCSS quality, I get the exact same result as the 8 GB variant. 43 FPS for AA and 49 FPS for XCSS quality. Only difference I've seen is my high FPS was higher than the 8 GB variant. I've reached 62 FPS time to time. And the RAM utilization also higher than the all the other card. I've reached 19 GB of RAM utilization with the A770 LE without any idea where or what was using that memory. Next jump, we finally go to the Battle Mage Arc GPU, starting with the B570. We're still at 1080p, lowest settings, XCSS AA. And we are finally over 60 FPS for native resolution. We're running actually at 74 FPS average. That is quite high, and this is in the middle of action. So when you are in an open world or doing nothing, you go higher. With the GPU peg at 99%, using 7GB of VRAM out of 10. This card have a 10GB of VRAM. CPU in the mid 60s and using 17 gigabyte of RAM, with the frame time frame graph quite smooth beside the starter here and there again. I also test medium settings 1080p with XCSS quality, we get an average of 55 FPS, still highly playable with better visual for this kind of visual. I could have kept the XCSS at AA, we're still going to be over 30 FPS, it will still be playable, but I found that the medium settings XCSS quality was a good playable experience. And finally, the the B580, with its 12GB of VRAM, won't do any difference for the RAM, but in terms of performance, we get a quite a jump. At 1080p, medium settings with XCSS AA, we get an average of 57 FPS, we're quite close to 60 FPS. You can play with some settings to reach your 60. I'm not doing optimization to play Borderland 4, I'm just doing the presets. With the GPU still peg at 99%, we're using 7.7GB of VRAM out of 12, CPU in the mid 50s and RAM 16 to 17 gigabyte of RAM utilization. If you want to be over 60 FPS, you can drop the settings XCSS to quality, still at medium settings, and then you'll get 78 FPS average with a thing over 80 FPS here and there. And at the same time, the B580 is the recommended GPU from the proposed requirement to play Borderland 4. And it looked quite decent. If the goal was to play at the high settings, you probably can't with XCSS balance or performance to get over 30 FPS, which I won't recommend. And that's all for testing ArcGPU in Borderland 4 or Starter Simulator. I don't remember the title anymore. And you see why I didn't test the A310. Hopefully they're going to release an enough patch, performance patch, so the starter go away. Otherwise you can try to do the work around from other people that have tried to uh, kill the starter. If you don't do that, bye. here are the results for Intel Arc GPU. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. And subscribe.